Hello, everybody, and welcome to the How To Guide into the Deployment Scheduler. Here, I'm going to show you how to use this incredibly underrated little tool and why it's such a game changer for your prison if you're not already using it. Plus, I've got a little something extra to show you guys later on in this video, so stick around so not to miss out. So before you can get this handy little tool in your arson, you're going to need to get the security chief research from bureaucracy. After this, patrols, intelligence, etc. Once this is done, your deployment tab will be available. Jump into that and you'll have access to the deployment scheduler. This tool allows you to schedule different patrols and guards throughout the day depending on when you wish them to be allocated to the area of your choosing. There are a total of nine different blocks that you can preset throughout the day to allocate as little or as many guards and patrols that you wish. This is where you can allocate your presets to specific times of the day, depending on what you choose. So yours will look like this to begin with, pretty much a blank slate. I want guards by the cells as they are all sleeping currently right now in my game. So let's do that. I allocate an unused block between one and five. In your case, this will be any block because you haven't used it yet. I click on the time I wish to allocate. Then I just go ahead and add the guards I want to use. And they'll only be there if I place that nine block anywhere else in the 24 hour time zone, as you can see here. This tool is so useful as you can plan your guards around your prisoner's regime and where the resource is actually needed. Before I started using this, I just had a guard posted somewhere 24 seven and that was it. Day in and day out when potentially they were only really needed for maybe two, three hours of the day. This is a game changer in the sense of it saves you so much resources. And this leads me to the why this is so useful as it means you can manage your resources far better than you could before having guards and patrols only really being used as and when they are needed you're not wasting one guard or more standing in the same place all day for no good reason meaning if you do this right you can cut down the guards you're spending money on or if you like having them around have those guards free to relieve others when they're tired or exhausted so you're constantly on top of your prisoners and not leaving any stones unturned, any allocated sections not covered, and so on. And speaking of this, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I had a little something extra for you all, and that's your three prisoner search tools. Tunnels, Shakedown, and Narcotics. All three of these have a custom schedule option, which if you don't know this, allows you to pre-plan your searches in specific areas and times of your choosing on a daily, third day, fifth day, or weekly basis. This, tied in with your deployment scheduler, is a potent combination and pretty much leaves your prisoners with no room for maneuver when it comes to those poxy tunnels or the sneaky bag of hoops that they have stashed away. And that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and found this useful. For more like this, why not come check out this video I've got up here? And I'll see you in the next one.